you guys so welcome to another episode and today we're gonna talk about pacing in running and why it's so important yeah so um i mean i've done a lot of races in the last year probably like close like 30 or 40 or yeah. maybe even close to 50 now usually 10k uh, races yeah mostly 10k races and i can't stress enough how important it is to pace yeah. yourself i mean I used to be that guy that always started out really fast and got tired mm -hmm. really quick. Yeah, yeah. but uh, the more you experience, the more you go to running races, the more you realize that, especially if you run with a Garmin or some uh, like running watch, you realize that you will have always like splits, you will always go really fast and then you go slower and slower as you go till the end of the race, which is not good. You want to go slower at the beginning and then faster at the end or yeah. you want to you want to keep like even pace so for example for 20 minutes 5k you want to go around four minutes per kilometer the whole way yeah yeah well, that way you will know exactly like how much you're running yeah but what i recommend the most is just take the first kilometer slow i know it's hard to be yeah. slow when there's especially in the race it's harder yeah, because some you people see, just go really fast at the yeah. start but don't get don't get you know caught, yeah caught yeah, into the trap you, you get trap. it you get that like kind of uh, adrenaline going on at the beginning of the race and you see you know even even the slow guys are running really fast at the beginning and you're trying to catch up everyone and you see the clock and you're running like 18 minutes 5k to 36 per kilometer and um then you, you you know you're going fast you would never run that fast the whole five whole five or ten kilometers so my tip is to run your own race so don't look at other guys i mean at the beginning you gotta kind of start at the, at the front because otherwise you'll be slowed down by slow runners but that doesn't mean you should like sprint out you know first kilometer or whatever so yeah, yeah. You have any other tips <laughs> the most important thing is just start slow that's all i have to say about pacing to be yeah, honest yeah. It'll, it'll just help you so much and you'll have more energy at the end to sprint because it's usually really important to sprint at the end yeah yeah it yeah, will help you a lot to sprint at the end yeah and yeah. also it's a mentally like kind of discouraging when you see other people like you start fast and other people overtaking you at the end and you're just yeah. like mentally as well uh, yeah. going down you know and you're slowing down even though you know you, you could still run faster you just mentally think that you're going slow okay so when you race a 10k, what what do you like to, how do you like to pace your race? Well, for 10k, I like to run around. I like to break the 40 minute uh, 10k, which is really hard. But I try to run around four minutes per kilometer. At the start. Yeah, yeah. but sometimes you know you just see it's like 345 or something, which is way too fast. Yeah, I used to do that's that. A, but that's way too fast. I regret it every time. Yeah. Yeah, but you know it's it's the race spirit and. Yeah, you just, you just gotta run your own pace. Yeah, my sweet spot right now for 10k is starting at 4.05 and then mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. and then go up, going under 4 minutes per k for the rest of the race. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so my first k I was discipline myself to do 4.05. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I used to always go fast. Yeah. I did my first k in 3.30 before and I absolutely regretted it. I stopped doing <laughs> it now. Yeah. yeah, that's way too fast. But when, when you run like 30 or 40 races, in one year you start to get yeah. used to it and you know what's too fast for you yeah yeah, yeah right. you, ju you just gotta run more and go more to running races but even then i'm really experienced i went to like 100 running races and i still i still go too fast <laughs> mainly yeah. because sometimes there are people in the front that you have to you know make your energy to and it's easier to run in a group as well but you know you just gotta think that you know your own pace and that's what you have to run yeah all right thank you for okay watching. thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in the next episode yeah. and also check out sota's channel i'll put the description down below sota sato it's a really good channel on running tips and lifestyle in phuket thailand so make sure you check it out thanks for watching